Listen up, people. There have been a rash of thefts of nuclear materials over the last three months. Now, based on Max's intel, our only lead is the maker of the bomb chaos used against us. Unfortunately, we have no idea where he is. Actually, sir, we do. He is in Russia. How do you know that? Doesn't anybody read my reports? In our very first draft of the script, it was a great day in the writer room. We, we looked at each other and said, uh, well, where do we want to go? Where do we want to shoot this story? I went back to the origin, the roots of the show, and it was a Cold War era in which Get Smart was born. So we thought, well, let's go back to where if we don't watch our international policy and our diplomatic relations with Russia, we may be back into a Cold War. So we decided, let's set this in Russia. I am Steve Carell. Hi, I'm Anne Hathaway. And welcome to Red Square in the heart of the Soviet Union. We're very, very excited to be Ru here. Russia. Well, it used to be Russia, and now it is no, called it the Soviet be... Union. Okay. We're pleased to be here as one of the, the first film crews ever to be shooting in Red Square. That's not true. Shooting your stars in those exotic places really gives you this fantastic feel, and it's what big tentpole movie making is all about. See, it's not really right. here. There's a little chaos paper. It gives the movie scope. You really want to sell that this is an international world, and so we went there. So we scouted Moscow about, uh, oh, six, seven months ago in the snow. Finally back, it's a beautiful day. We're shooting uh, Red Square tomorrow night. We're shooting on a bridge about a half mile down. It's fantastic being here. Boy, have some fans followed us here to the Soviet Union. Even here, people have been mobbing us. Have they? Yeah. Would you like an autograph? We've had a great time shooting this. Don't touch me. All right. Red Square is probably one of the most visited spots in Russia. So to get the government to shut it down for us so that we could shoot, that was a very complicated thing. We weren't sure we were going to get there, but we hung in there and we made it work and really sort of kept that goal there. And we got to, we got to go to Moscow. There really is nothing like being there. And it affects the actors. It affects the crew. It really is the cherry on top for this whole great espionage adventure. Are we actually in Red Square? No, we're not. Yes, we're on we an we're... enormous stage in the back lot of Warner Brothers Pictures. They have spent over $18 trillion, even the bell. The bell itself was imported from Russia. What are you talking about? What? We're, we're here. We flew in together on a, on a, on a, on a plane. and I it's, was drunk. We're in... I thought we were still in Burbank. Oh, I, I just, I thought you were happy. <laughs> The scene that we're, we're shooting tonight follows a big action set piece where Max 99 infiltrate chaos. This is just ridiculous! And they finally get to see each other in action. And he's really come through, but in a really interesting oh. way that she didn't expect. And so this is sort of the post-mortem. The chief is thrilled. He sent 23 out to observe the cleanup. Great. The last scene that we shot actually in the movie is Maxwell Smart in 99 walking in Red Square. And it was at 3 in the morning. We were filming a scene on the Moscow River. And because we were in the summer, the nights are very short. The days are very long. It would get dark at 11.30 PM. So we had just a couple of hours of night. And as tired as we were, we had to trudge into Red Square. And we thought, oh gosh, you know, it wasn't enough that we had to shoot for 12 hours. Now we're setting lights after being up all night. And then I said to everybody, there was only 12 of us. I said, stop, look around, what do you see? And we all looked around and the sun was coming up. Not a soul was in Red Square. We ended our movie shooting in Moscow in Red Square in the middle of the night 
Nobody there except the guards in Lenin's tomb and us. It was great. I mean, it was fun. There I was 20 feet from Lenin's tomb. Very, very exciting. The ironic, crazy thing is every now and then when I see Max and 99, the scene of them walking in Red Square, it almost looks like we went to Epcot and shot it. Because it's so perfect, it almost looks unreal. So in the end, is it better to go there? I'm always going to go for the real thing until we can't afford it anymore. That really was the epitome of the whole Get Smart experience. We got to experience things that we never would have dreamed of. And for a group of 12 Americans to be in the middle of Red Square, alone, at that moment, ending the movie, ending this whole experience, 10 years getting to the screen, it was the perfect ending. Thank you. 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 Thank you.